Hello everybody, my name is Drew and welcome back to LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. We're uh, actually picking up here in the bonus room, which is cool because you can see where all of your failures are to collect anything of note. Uh, and that's just be- wait, what? I had a 10. I had a 20? I had a 10. Interesting. So this is this looks. I'm not even sure. It looks like this is where you can see all like the, the piles of gold bricks or whatever. But I might be wrong in that. They all say nine, so I'm assuming that I don't have what I need for those. Um, give me that. But I, I went ahead and I've, I've unlocked a bit of a secret here. Um, if we go over here, you'll see there's a door that's got a uh, it's got a, a, a camera above it. It marked trailers, and, and I've already gone in and looked. But if you go in here. You can watch an Indiana Jones Lego trailer for that for that game, and then well, I will show you what happens. We're gonna go on over here. Hello, Darth Maul. We go over here. I grab this. I go to characters, and I gotta find him now. Indiana Jones. I can now play as Indiana Jones. How amazing is that? Come on, you guys are impressed. Be impressed. Um, there's all these, uh, there's like, there's so many different things. Like, I've got that battle droid. Yeah. Alright, so I had a bit of a, a, a debate, um, with myself for the last couple of days about what order I actually wanted to do the rest of the story in. And I had originally committed, because I, I tend to commit to things before I think about it, to, pardon me, playing them specifically in order. And I wanted to go, oh, oh god damn it. I wanted to go completely in story order, one, two, three, four, five, six. However, I'm reconsidering that now, and I think I want to do the rest of these in machete order. Get number one out of the way, and then we can do the rest of the story in the favorite way of watching the movies now, which is machete, which if you've never watched the movies in that, uh, in that order, that order is specifically four, five, two, three, and then six. So you get, you know, the Luke, you know, a little bit of like the what the hell is kind of going on, of uh, four and five, and then the revelation of, of Darth Vader being Luke's father. Go back to see the fall of Darth Vader through two and three, and then you get the amazing conclusion that is six. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go into episode four here. Machete order it is. I was just as I'm like saying it to you guys, the more I say it out loud, the more I'm like, yeah man, that's what I want. That's what I need. So we're gonna do it that way. We're gonna dive right in here. To secret plans, story mode. A New Hope. We all know the story of New Hope, so I'm going to skip that like I tend to do. Ah, uh, yeah. Iconic scene, baby. This makes me feel so happy right now. I'm smiling ear to ear. You guys can't see it, but I'm, I'm seriously smiling ear to ear. Ah, God, that's so good. And I like how they've, they've done the Lego. They've got like the mini models rather than the full on uh, giant Lego representations, which I think is pretty cool. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Hey, it's R2 and 3PO. Oh, this looks so good in Lego. Alright, Stormtrooper time, baby. It's going, guys. Direct. Man, this is like violent for a Lego game. I said that in the last episode, but like hardcore. Oh look, it's the disc. The stolen Death Star plans. Okay, so I'm Leia. Sweet. And I'm assuming that's why Gentilis that's hanging out with me. Spot on. Hold on, let's collect all these studs. Oh, and the old school blaster sounds too. Oh, so good. Uh, can I do something with you? I can do something with you. You're gonna just three studs at me. Nice. Wait, 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 wait. Does this do like every time? Oh my god, it does. Ah, hells yeah. That's great. See, so, you know, the secret is a lot of times with Lego games, I know it's just with Jurassic World, uh, you'll do this a bunch, it'll give you the same thing, but then eventually it gives you either gold or silver. 
or er, blue, a blue stud. But this might just be silver every time. Looking like it's just silver every time. That's cool too. That's fine. I'm okay with that as well. I will take that. Thank you. I'll blow all those up. Now. Okay, those I can't break yet. I should not know what breaks those. I can't remember. I believe someone told me. Uh, oh, yeah. Shout out to my friend Kendra for explaining the, the Indiana Jones thing. Because she's the one that told me about that. Because I did not know that it was a thing. I've played this whole game and never done it. And then you guys have been mad at me. Alright. Sweet. But look. Thank you. Alright, that's a Sith door, so I can't go that way. Oh, but I can blow those up. Oh! I'm just gonna keep smacking Wedge in the back of the header. It's not Wedge. Who is this? Captain Antilles. It's Wedge's father? I'm whatever. Is that ever addressed in the movie? Because I know there's Wedge Antilles. Who's Rogue Squadron and, like, Luke's wingman or whatever. But, like, did they ever address Captain Antilles being his father? I don't remember. I feel like they did. Fairly sure they did. Oh, look. Our friends, the Stormtroopers. Correct. <laughs> I like that she actually stops, like, hand on hip. And just, like... Him slaps them. That's that's wonderful. That is so cool. Oh, cool! It's hilarious, is what it is. That's the word I'm actually looking for. Yeah, look at them studs. All right, let's get on with this thing. Ah, oh, there is studs under the ground there, and I want them. That doesn't help me. Can I get down there? Because there's also a mini fit kit down there. Oh no, I need someone that can. I need one of the kids. Ah, oh, so tantalizing. Alright, what do you got for me? I like that they're actually getting some building now. Like, there wasn't nearly enough building in episode one. As far as I'm concerned. Screw you for sending these literally everywhere. And then me not being able to collect any of them because I'm terrible at this game. So I really need to get Stud Magnet, which unfortunately is in Episode 2. So we'll be a little bit before we can get our hands on that uh, that power brick. I will get it. It will happen. Okay, well I don't need to do that right now, so I'm going to go over here. Wait, can I not do anything with those? No, it appear that... No, I cannot. Oh, it's a bridge! Oh, it's a bridge! Well, alright. That would feel dumb now. So we're going to go this way. Cross the bridge. Uh-oh. Hi. Oh, and I can't collect any of those studs. Ugh. That's annoying. Uh, uh, well, I got some of those studs anyway. We might actually get True Jedi on this. I say might. Emphasis on the might. Only bounty hunters can access these areas. <laughs> Just keep pimp slapping Captain Attilies in the back of the head. Oh! Oh, there's things! Oh, there's things! I said one of three. What are you? I don't know what you are. Is there more of you? I'm assuming they're somewhere, but... Where? Ah, uh, I'm guessing not in this room then. 
Yes, yes, I understand. Only bounty hunters. Screw it. Okay, moving on. Okay. Only stormtroopers. So I wonder if I can actually I, I unlock a stormtrooper after this. That would be very good if that was a possibility. Ooh, had to cough. Uh, now, I think a wedge is literally just the same character. It's kind of like playing as Padme and Panaka. Okay, there's a cool double door. What do you got for me? Okay, just stand there like an idiot. That's great. Thank you. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, very nice. Oh. Wait. Oh, sweet. I don't know what I just did, but I did something. Cool. So we're very, very close to getting True Jedi, which is pretty awesome. Okay, I didn't do anything. Uh, oh! Well, that was unexpected. Rip. That was supposed to be me. Oh, so he's just going to do it on loop now. Okay, Leia, could you not fucking stand on that thing? Thank you. Cool. Alright, well, moving on. I haven't been able to get any of the mini kits yet, though. That's unfortunate. Oh, God, could you imagine if we had the score multiplier on? How unbelievably gross that would be right now? That's the other thing I gotta find. I gotta find the score multipliers. I think there's one in episode four. All right, cool, we're good. Moving on. Pretty sure there's one in this episode, but uh, don't don't hold me to that. Uh, where are we going? Okay, well there's this thing, which appears to be a Jedi thing. I'm assuming. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna move these around. I gotta go over there. There's one. And this one, thankfully, is just a straight line, so there's two. Awesome. What are you going to give me? Oh, you're going to give me death. Hi. Sweet. I wish I could have found some more of those other things. All right, hey, Sweet. Hey, there's our two. Everything is going great. D <laughs> there's no slot. <laughs> so she just opens him up and throws it inside. Oh, that's great. That is fantastic. Okay, well, I'm going to switch back to until he's here because he can actually do things. And that's going to be, let me guess, an R2 door. Should have just stayed as R2. Also, a little bit of, of uh, tidbit. Um, R2-D2's voices were all done using an analog synthesizer back in the day, which I thought was really, really cool. I wish I could remember what it's called. But I know um, Deadmose has, has one. I want to say it's... It's not a profit. God, what was that? It's a it's a modular synth of some kind. Now that's gonna bug me now. Okay, I'm in a crane, but oh, okay, I understand. Dropped. And a bonk. Okay. Hooray. Will you let me across the chasm now? Huzzah, he will. Alright, I'm 
over. All right, let's go this way. What's up, buddy? Are you a rebel friend? I don't even have a name. Well, he's wearing a red shirt, too. I literally just noticed that. So, like, this dude's 100% expendable. expendable. He doesn't even have a name. You're wrecked, buddy. You're so expendable. Okay, but how... Oh, I guess... Two? Ah. Well, that doesn't help, because how can 3PO get over there? Unless 3PO can jump. He cannot. Oh, you know what? No, I know what to do. Hold on. I'm going to have to crane him over. Is that what they're getting at? All right, cool. I can't get those studs, which is unfortunate. Because I want them. Do your thing, 3PO. Open that door for us. This is a fairly long level, too. I'm just thinking about this. Like, Oh. Oh, well, shit. Oh, hello. Oh, he put his hand behind his back in a dueling pose. That's adorable. <laughs> oh, that is adorable. It's hilarious. Fuck you. I can't switch to those guys. Oh. Cover me. Cover me. Sweet. Amazing. Okay, so I can't go that way because it's only stormtroopers. So, let's go this way then. Shall we? I'm assuming what we're doing right now is getting to the escape pod. Like, that makes the most logical amount of sense to me as to what we're doing and why. Which should be this thing. Wait, how did you get over here, R2? I guess we'll... Open one of these? Ah... Uh... Okay. That was a thing. All right, well, I'm not sure what else I was supposed to achieve, but that's fine. I can't get to that door, so... Just, I'm just going to R2 this one, and... It's all she wrote, I guess. Oh, I gotta go to him. Ah, okay, that's what it is. I had to unlock door, unlocking that door. Gotcha. Gotcha. 3 p.m., my man. Open that door up. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Oh. Of course. R2. It's a job for you, sir. Ooh, wow. His character model got all pixelated there. That was weird. Yay! Here we go. In you get, guys. Damn, it doesn't look so bad from out here. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, it ripped me. Bye. <laughs> Delightful. Everybody looks around. They're going to go in their separate ways. No, R2, over here. <laughs> Transport over here! <laughs> My horrible voice acting. Ooh, Watin! Chawas! Direct R2. Again, I love how they get like the relevant plot points 
and don't need any other nonsense. Like, it, it cuts the story down beautifully done. <laughs> awesome. Who have I unlocked? I've unlocked Princess Leia. Do I get a Stormtrooper? If we get a Stormtrooper, I'm unlocking that bad boy right now. Of course, to get the Rebel Friend. And... Ah, that's it? Ah! Nice. Well, you have a lot of studs. Oh, I said continue. Oh, shit. I want to go back to the cantina. That's not what I wanted to do. Ah, no. Skip. Skip. I wanted to go back to the cantina. Game. Everybody avert your eyes. Avert your eyes. Of course he's going to point the two droids. Come on. Well, so much for doing this This the intro to the next episode. <laughs> oh, look, more Jawas. What are you even doing? Did they just steal everything again? That's how they're, they're rationalizing this? Same people. Is he milking that sound person? Okay, hi. <laughs> This is like, nope, fuck that noise. Oh. Easy, son. You've had a busy day. Alright, well, I'm gonna quit this and go back to the cantina. Didn't mean to do that. That's my mistake, guys. It's okay. I'm not gonna make you watch the cinematic next time. I'll just skip it. But, let's wander this way. How do I change who I'm playing as? Nope, can't can't do that. Like, can I be can I be Wedge now? I can be Captain Antilles. Or Battle Droid. Battle Droid? Battle Droid. <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, let's take a look at, at what we can purchase as characters now. All the different variations of battle droids, man. Or Wadu. Let's see if we can find a stormtrooper real quick. Okay, Rebel Troopers. Stormtrooper! Yeah, Rebel Trooper. Feel Shuttle Pilot. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so I can go back and unlock some of the bricks now, and I may very well do that. Sweet. Alright, guys, this will be the end of the episode then. Um, feel dumb for, for not skipping where I wanted to do, but whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, as per usual, if you like the episode, go ahead, leave a like. You can always find other work I've done in the description box below, and of course, Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye!